hey, how are you? In this video, I'm going to do a little commercial training on general liability specifically. I've been talking about how I believe that the personal lines market is really, you know, tightening up. It's becoming harder to sell um, personal lines products. So I've recommended for what I'm doing for myself and my agency here is a little more focus on the commercial side during this 2022, 2023, possibly even 2024 recession time, which we can't predict and we don't know what's going to happen, but we do know what's happening now, which is the personal lines market is taking a bit of a hit. It's tightening up, at least here in California. That's what I'm seeing. And this is where we're pivoting a little bit of our focus. So I want to kind of kind of keep that consistent with my training and my videos. Um, so we're going to talk about commercial today and how you can understand it a little bit better. So if you are just kind of getting going and have want to get your feet more wet with commercial um, and hopefully this can help you understand it a little bit better. So let's dive into it. So as mentioned, the commercial products, I'm going to break them down into four segments of coverage that you normally see for liability. Um, general liability is a certain, a specific policy, but liability in general for commercial insurance. I'm going to talk about that and break it down into the, the four main buckets that exist for potential claims. Like there are really only four buckets of coverage that really kind of exist. Um, and I'm going to lay them out so that you can understand in a liability standpoint. Um, most of the times a general liability policy will have these, but I will explain in just a second. So um, I'm going to write it down, commercial. And then a lot of times, if you don't know this, people call it GL. So if you're new, GL is also a nice common term for general liability. Um, and there's four buckets. So bucket number one, we're going to call it service. Bucket number two, it's going to be premise. Bucket number three, we're going to name it products. And lastly, bucket number four, advice. As mentioned, these four buckets are the main areas for potential claims um, that, you know, basically a lawsuit for your business. If you have a commercial business, these are the four potential buckets of claims scenarios that could happen for liability. Um, so I'm going to explain each one. Service. So if you're a plumber, a painter, an electrician, and you provide a service, you go into somebody's home and you're fixing their pipes, or let's just say you do commercial and you do electrical wiring for commercial buildings and it causes a fire because of the electrical wiring. Or if you're a painter and your bucket, as simple as your bucket falls off your ladder and it hits just a random bystander on the street in the head and they want to sue your business, that is a service that you provide. And most you know, policies on you know, liability have one million, two million, which means if on Monday you had a bucket fall off your ladder, hit somebody in the head, and they sue you for a million bucks, you're going to have up to a million dollars. And then let's just say on Wednesday, you have another bucket fall off your ladder and hit another person on in the, in the head, and they sue you for another million. You got only up to $2 million aggregate for your total policy term. So you're only going to have a million each occurrence and two million total. Um, that's pretty standard general liability coverage. So that's for services provided. Hopefully that makes sense um, if you provide a service. So next thing is a premises. So let's just say you're a restaurant or let's just say you're a painting company, same thing, and you have an office or your restaurant location and you have customers coming in and out of the office or, or the, uh, you know, the restaurant space. Even here at this office, like my insurance office has general liability. If customers pop in here, they rarely do. Everybody calls us over the phone, like 98% of our customers, but we do have those one customers once in a while, right? <laughs> Kelly knows. 
We do have some customers that do decide to come in and pay their bills. If they get injured, a desk flips over, hits them in the head. Really, like this is for like a restaurant. Like if a restaurant premise where there's a lot of activity, customers coming in and out, and there's so many businesses that have people coming in and out. That's just an example. Um, somebody slips and falls, somebody gets injured. It's mainly for injury lawsuits or liability. Those are liability lawsuits. Um, so your premise coverages, hopefully that makes sense. It's location coverage. Next would be your products. Going back to the restaurant, like you guys are, you know, making food and people are eating your food and consuming your products. Um, if they get sick, uh, your products coverage is usually called products and completed services on your general liability policy that will protect you for your products. Um, if somebody gets injured because you know they're you, you have a lotion manufacturer, you're a lotion manufacturer and you're distributing new lotions for people and it's causing them to have huge skin rat reactions and, and even cancer, God forbid. Um, boom, your products liability coverage will protect you for the lotions that you're distributing or let's just say chairs. Like you have a chair that you manufacture and you distribute. Um, boom, somebody falls out of the chair, they break their hip, they break their back. You got to have products, completed services, coverage, which is a very standard um, coverage on there. So those are, like I said, the main three that are always, almost always on your general liability policy. And the one oddball one here is advice. So if you're giving advice in your service or your business, um, like for example, there's a lot of contractors out there that give advice. Like they are actually just doing designs. Like they're not even actually physically doing the work. Let's just say uh, uh, an electrical or a construction design company. They are pr purely giving designs and consulting and advice on how to build something. And if those designs fall through and they cause some real damages and injuries to people, um, this is more so called professional liability. So I'll write that down here. Professional, um, also known as E&O. Insurance agents need E&O. Um, real estate agents need E&O. They're advising you and consulting on stuff that can make people lose money. People can get injured. Um, stuff like that. Not necessarily insurance agents. Like we're not advising people on stuff that they could possibly get injured, but we're giving people advice that could cause them to have financial losses, serious financial losses. Like if I give bad advice on an insurance policy or mess something up, um, that could cause a claim. So a liability claim. Um, so those are the main things, uh, the main four buckets. Those are the kind of scenarios of lawsuits that can, you know, lead stuff that can lead to lawsuits in a business. Um, and this is very, very general, uh, kind of, you know, bird's eye view, uh, high level understanding of commercial general liability and always, you know, keep it at a million, two million. You don't want to go lower than one million, two million. You can on certain companies, but highly recommend that's the most standard industry standard coverage. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that gives you a better kind of idea and um, just a better understanding that helps you sell more commercial insurance. If it does, uh, leave us a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell. Um, we'll continue kind of doing some of these uh, training um, as well, just to kind of help people understand the products and clearly, um, you know, position themselves to be in a, a place for success. So that's all I got. I hope that did help you and give us a thumbs up if you can. Comment something below if you think, um, you know, there's anything you we should add or any videos you want to see in the future. Please let us know. Let us know about anything you guys are seeing that you want. Um, we read all the comments. I get in the comments. I reply to stuff and I want to make sure that I'm given the audience what they want to see so really appreciate you guys we also hit 4,000 subscribers so um, we're on uh, you know upwards and onwards to 10,000 that's the goal so we'll be there very soon and really appreciate you guys hopefully this helps we'll see you at the top see you soon Peace.